The way time flies in the garden never ceases to amaze me, and it's hard to believe that it's that time of year again. But sure enough, it is indeed garlic planting season. One of the most popular crops to grow for the home gardener, it's also one of the most enigmatic. How do you plant it? Where do you plant it? And of course, when do you plant it? It's fall here where I live in zone 9, and that means two things. One, the weather has turned, and two, it's time to get our hard neck garlic varieties into the ground. With most crops shutting it down for the year, your hard neck garlic is just getting started. Whether you're buying your seed garlic from the store for the first time, or you keep back the bulbs of your favorite varieties every year, it's time to get our garlic game going. Today's video is all about the planting tips to make your life easier. Get all those cloves into the ground before it freezes so that we can rest easy all winter knowing that we did everything that we needed to do to set them up for the best success. Hey, before we get going here, I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page and that we're not trying to overcomplicate growing our garlic. If you're just starting out trying to grow this stuff for the first time, or maybe you've tried and have been unsuccessful in the past, don't stress. Garlic is a relatively simple crop to grow, provided you observe a few rules. Strategies and tips for planting your garlic is what we're talking about today. But down in the description, I'll link some hyper-focused videos that I've done on garlic in the past. Things like planting, watering, fertilizing, and of course harvesting. I know that growing garlic is super popular right now. And with that comes a ton of videos trying to capture that attention. A blatant example of this is pre-sprouting the cloves. It looks cool, sure, I agree. And anytime you get to see plant roots out in the open like this, obviously it's going to get attention. But it's also completely unnecessary and it's just overcomplicating a really straightforward process. So keep it simple with your garlic guys, you're going to have far more success. When I think of all the garlic that I've planted and grown over the years, the numbers are quite staggering. However, when I think of everything that makes a garlic planting successful in the first place, it really only boils down to four main areas of focus. Location, timing, depth, and spacing. Let's hone in on and discuss that location first. Like all members of the Allium family, Garlic is a full sun crop. That means six plus hours a day of full direct sunlight. However, if you're out in your yard right now and it's garlic planting season and all you see is shade, even on a perfectly sunny day, you might be thinking to yourself, how can I possibly make this happen? Well, fortunately for us, in the case of hard neck garlic, the sun shade dilemma simply doesn't matter right now. Sure, we'll get some cloves that sprout early before winter, but ideally, your garlic is going to stay underground over winter, putting all of its energy into building out the root system. You see, garlic is meant to sprout in the spring. That's when those sunlight hours begin to matter. So, whether you're in full sun, partial shade, or even full shade right now, fear not. As long as you can provide the full sun requirements come spring, you'll be okay. Just to finish off the thought on location here, exposure also isn't a worry with garlic, as it can take the wind, rain, and all those elements, no problem. Honestly, if you can solve the sun puzzle, pretty much any location is going to work great for your garlic. Okay, we now know where our garlic goes, it's time to figure out when to plant them. Honestly, timing is probably the single biggest factor when trying to successfully grow garlic. Now, 
Warm climate gardeners planting soft neck garlic varieties have the luxury of planting essentially at any time of the year. With no real winter to worry about and with the right variety, timing is rarely an issue. For us northern growers in more temperate regions, we'll be growing the hard neck varieties of garlic. And that means dealing with a true winter right in the middle of the growing cycle. It's no problem, and in fact, it makes garlic growing for us even easier. Let me explain. In order to bulb up properly, early on in its life cycle over winter, hard neck garlic needs to undergo a chilling process known as vernalization. As such, the best time to plant your garlic is about a month before your first fall frost date. Now, that date changes for every region, but it's super easy to look up for your specific area. Find the date, count backwards 30 days, and that's your ideal day to plant your hard neck garlic. For example, I live in Victoria, BC in zone 9B, and my first frost date is listed as November 11th. So, my ideal date to plant my garlic is gonna be October the 12th. However, rather than being a rigid, specific date, it's actually more of a range. I could plant my garlic on October 1st or October 20th without much of an issue. But there is a reason for this timing and it is important. Too late and you run the risk of winter hitting early, freezing that ground, and having your garlic bulbs never getting established in time. Too early though, and your garlic is gonna think it's spring, sprout up too big and too lush, possibly get damaged, and even die. Timing, it's important. With the location and timing all figured out, let's look at those last two tips, which focus on the actual planting of the garlic itself. First up is depth. Like timing, this one has a bit of a range, anywhere from one to three inches deep below the soil level to be exact. Warmer climates with less harsh of a winter can plant their garlic shallower, around an inch deep. Colder regions in say zone six or lower are gonna to wanna to go closer to that three inches deep. Keep in mind that these depths are from the pointy top of the garlic clove to the top of the soil layer, not including that mulch. For me here in zone nine, I tend to go with about one inches deep with a nice two inch thick mulch layer. Over the years here, we've had some pretty harsh winters and I've never had a problem with it. Hey, while we're here though, let me show you the two different ways that I like to plant my garlic. As long as you get the correct depth, it really doesn't matter how you plant your garlic. But these two methods here are what I've found to be the easiest. The first method is a trench style one where I simply dig a straight line trench to the desired depth the entire length of the bed. A hard rake seems to be the best tool for this. After that, Place your cloves pointy side up along the inside of that trench to the desired spacing, which we're gonna cover in a minute. Fill back in and we're all done. Now, the other method is to simply dig individual holes, again to the desired depth, place those cloves in pointy side up and then fill back in. Both are super easy methods, but when it comes to growing the container garlic, I kind of prefer the individual holes. All the different garlic varieties come in a few different sizes, both for the cloves as well as the bulbs. When planting, the minimum spacing between the cloves for even the smallest garlic variety is four inches. Remember, the eventual bulbs can end up being double or even quadruple the size of the single cloves that you're planting right now. So be aware, spacing matters. 
For larger varieties, as well as elephant garlic, six inches of spacing is going to be necessary. And fun fact about that elephant garlic, it actually isn't even a true garlic. It's more closely related to leeks. Imagine that. As you can see, the whole planting of garlic is super simple, and it takes mere minutes to plant dozens or even hundreds. That is if the beds are already prepped. Look, we covered a lot here today, so I'm gonna go ahead and prep and plant out the next bed while we recap those main points. New garlic bulbs are grown from the individual cloves of the previous year's harvest. It's actually pretty amazing, and it's a super easy crop to grow despite its long life cycle spanning all four seasons. Breaking it down, there's four main areas of focus when it comes to planting garlic that are going to govern your success. Before planting even begins, you're going to need to scout out the right location. A loose, rich, well-drained soil is always beneficial, but full sun is non-negotiable. Six plus hours a day are what's required. After you've got your spot, timing is one that you simply have to get right. Hard neck garlic is planted one month before your first fall frost. With location and timing set, we can finally plant. Like a lot of plants, depth is really important for garlic bulbs, and you want to get them one to three inches below the soil surface. Shallower for warm climates, deeper for the colder ones. Finally, when planting, you also need to space out the cloves properly. Four to six inches between each clove, allowing them to reach their maximum size. Planting out the garlic becomes an annual fall tradition for many growers. It's a long crop, yes, but it's also very low maintenance, and over half of its life cycle is just sitting dormant. Follow these four planting strategies and you'll be harvesting as much garlic as you could possibly want every year. Hey, happy growing guys, and I'll see you soon. Hey, thanks so much for watching guys. I appreciate the support more than you know. And if you're getting value from these videos, please like and share them to spread the word and help your fellow gardener to grow better.